Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of City Bus Manager. We're back in Halifax today where I've just spotted a couple of our Geminis that haven't been painted. Goodness gracious me. Uh, I seem to remember when we were painting them in the last episode or the episode before that or whenever it was. There was a couple that had gone out on service, uh, in service, sorry, that I'd missed. So uh, just having a quick look around, make sure that we've not missed any other Geminis. There we go, there's one there that needs painting. Uh, I've not done any liveries since we last saw each other, just because I haven't had the time. I've been a busy bee racing around. Um, life gets in the way, doesn't it? Which is really, really annoying when you're trying to do stuff like this. But uh, sadly, it is the case. Um, so I have been trying to, I'm working on, uh, I'm halfway through a livery for the Omni City uh, and I've been messing about with the Alex 400 but I've not got anything uh, worth showing as of yet. Oh, can't decide which way around he wants to be. There we go, we'll pop uh, B90L on you, yeah, lovely. And then where's the other chap, is this him here coming in for the painting? Lovely, look at that, nice and efficient. Well, we've not got a lot of painting done, but at least we've got some of the vehicles uh, in the corporate livery. There we go, look at that. That's what you like. Hey! Right, we've not got a lot of money. We've got uh, 2,380, which isn't particularly brilliant. We'll just have a quick scout round, make sure we're all uh, ready for the day's service. How's it looking today in the old shift schedule? It appears to be uh, looking vaguely good, yeah. Happy with that. Oh, we've got lots of buses that haven't been... Oh, no, hang on. It's because I'm skipping through the days. Duh. So tomorrow uh, we shall assign the bus drivers and assign the buses. Yep, lovely. Uh, and then, of course, it's just double-deckers that we've not got. So we shall... Let's make sure we've got nothing on the minibuses. We'll only use the minibuses as a last resort. They can be our emergency backup buses. Right, you can have a, a morning on the 571. And an afternoon on the 571. There you go. That's that's you sorted on the 571. Let's just flick through and uh, and find those minibuses. Take you off there. Any more minibuses? Yep. Right, there we go. And we'll just assign whatever we've got left. So that's a minibus. You're not having that. Solo buses. Yeah, you can have a 5 a.m. 1550. Uh, can you go straight onto the C2? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. But you could go on the 593, which I think is what you were doing before, wasn't it? Uh, right, 1550. Does anyone finish at 15? Oh, yeah, there we go. You can have an afternoon on the C2 when you've done that. Makes sense to squash as many timetables together as possible, doesn't it? So then at least you're, uh, you know, we've got as many buses in the depot as possible. Uh, there we go, you can have, uh, you can be on that until 1620. What else have we got? 1400. You can then go on the uh, 363, there you go. 1425, actually that might not be such a good idea. We'll leave a bit more time, because obviously he does have to drive over to Huddersfield. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll we'll leave a little bit more time on that. 16, 1430, you can then go on that. Oh, look at this. It's all coming together nicely. 1425. What's that? That's a 363. So that involves driving as well. Oh, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll pop you on there. Yep, leave the sprinter. Don't be tempted to send the sprinter out on anything. That's not what you need. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's have a look. Timings are all looking fairly good. There. Oh, we'll pop an electric out on the uh, on that. Fifteen ten. Yeah, you might not be able to squeeze that timetable on something else there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, three six three. <laughs> You're gonna be a minibus. That's a disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? Absolute disaster waiting to happen. But there we go. So in the last episode, I wasn't doing as many of the. Uh, oh, look, everybody's going. I wasn't doing as many of the uh, the fueling because people had kind of they bullied me into it, not fueling my vehicles as much. But we've made sure that everything's really clean as well, so you know, might not be as fueled as possible. You see that I would have fueled that the night before, but yeah, I've been uh, I've been bullied into not doing it. Just make sure everyone's all right for the uh, for the day. Everyone seems all right, don't they? 
There's no uh, massive repair jobs that need doing. Oh, hang on. You can be cleaned. I know the bar's not completely... Uh, it's only a tiny bit empty, but that could be a piece of litter. For all you know. Ah, it'll do. It'll do. Let's have a look at the old scoreboard. We'll see what's happening out on the uh, out on the map. Oh, my lord. Yeah, it's busy. It is very busy. Um, yeah, my god. 200 passengers. Where are you all waiting to go? 593. Christ, and that's only every hour. You can't really do a lot with that, to be honest with you. I mean, the 591 down there is... Uh, have we got a 593 to come back? No. Suppose it's only 6 o'clock in the morning. There we go. 593 leaving full. Might need to try and get Deckers on there. Where are you going? 593? Oh, not many for the 593, to be perfectly honest with you. 800 passengers. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ludicrous. Let's have a look. 593. You see, you're all right after there, aren't you? Do you think they'll probably have two buses of each on? I can't remember what time everything's meant to leave. But yeah, obviously this Calder Valley route should have a 59, uh, 590, a 591, that's there. We should also have a 592 and a 594 that aren't running to, you know, just take the uh, the pressure off there. But because we've not obviously got all the way down to Todmorden, we are sort of struggling on that one. What's this? What's this? Oh, you, you can turn your buses off. You can turn your buses into just buses. Why would you want to turn that off? I like seeing what bus is there. What a bizarre feature. See, it is sort of weird, and I guess... Oh my god, there's one and a half thousand passengers waiting. That's mental. Oop. 591 is full. But again, like, when it's here, it's emptied out. So it's obviously people going up here. We're going to, uh, we're really going to be falling out of favour with everybody here, aren't they? They're not going to like us. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into the bus routes. We're going to go into the 503 and we're going to edit. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to 18 Crown Street. We're going to take that out because actually the 503 doesn't stop there. There you go. Taking it out. Uh, so it can stop at Commercial Street. I can't remember. It stops at one of the two, but we'll have it stopping at both because it doesn't really matter, does it? But we'll take that out. So the idea being behind this is that we'll just get rid of stops that are annoying us. Uh, so five... Which one is it now? Five one. Two, five seven nine. I didn't mean to do that. Where are we? Five seven nine. Edit the route. We'll take eighteen Crown Street out of there as well because they don't stop there. First stop is uh, twenty five George Street out of the bus station. So we'll take you off. Yep. Hopefully. <laughs> Just by getting rid of the stop. I mean, I imagine they're probably all going to go to here if they want to, you know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Mm, lovely. It might work in our favour. It might do. Just take the bus stop off. There you go. Uh, right, 593. 18 Crown Street. Delete. If you have problems, just delete the bus stop. There we go. What it does mean is that passengers from the 521 now can't change onto the onto to go out of town. In real life, what they do is walk. But I think that I think what they're probably going to end up doing. I mean, there's there's no way you can get from one to the other. They're probably gonna I don't know. Maybe go to Commercial Street, change onto a 503 down to Oxford Road. Then come back again on a 503 to the bus station to then go. I don't know. You'd think they'd be able to walk, wouldn't you? There we go. Have a bit of uh, have a bit of that. See what they think. Uh, 
But yeah, it's a shame because obviously at this time of day there wouldn't be this many passengers in Halifax to come out of Halifax. They'd all be going in because obviously this is where everyone works, this is where everyone lives in the uh, in the surrounding areas. So it's sort of a shame that the game mechanics don't really get that. Look at that, 363, nice and full. That's what we like. Wonder where you're going. Up in the top, you'll be a 363, won't you? Going down there. Oh, hang on. 591 coming back into town. Virtually nobody on. 7 o'clock in the morning, that should be a busy one, that. Obviously it's not, but, uh, but there we go. Straight down to the bus station, 400 and odd passengers waiting. Oh, it's a worry, isn't it? Hmm. See, I was sort of hoping that we could put a 542 in. It goes from, uh, from down here in Siddle up to Norton Tower just to cover this sort of area here. But we're really struggling for buses, aren't we? What we might need to do... We've not really got any spare buses, have we? Uh, bus routes. 591. Additional bus. Go. And if we go uh, bus routes 593. Additional bus. Sling a setter out on there. That'll do. Why is there so many people? Although, to be fair, has that just... Hang on, has it deleted... Oh, so it's not done it to start tomorrow either. That's interesting. Hang on, hang on. There's 2,000 passengers waiting. That doesn't tally. Are the buses still stopping here? Let's have a look. They're going off down there. C1, you're doing your thing. You're full. <laughs> Crying out loud. Yeah, we're, we're not very good at this, are we? And I know that people are going to say, oh, just sling more deckers on. But yeah, we, we like a nice mix. It's too easy to just buy all double deckers, isn't it? Where's the Omni City going? That's on the 503. Oh, right, 591. Right, so you're just not stopping there. You've abandoned that stop. Right. Oh, that's the additional bus. I wonder what's going to happen. Do they just leave after a certain amount of time? Because, you know, the buses just aren't stopping there anymore. I'm hoping they do. Because otherwise those thousands of passengers are going to be there until we reinstate the 591. Maybe they're all protesting. They're fuming with us. Absolutely fuming. Five nine one is off. Five nine three, again full, lovely. See, this is why I don't want to put so many buses on this route. Because if you look, like it's easy to make it every ten minutes. But look, they're just empty down this end of the map. Yeah, they're really busy out of town, but. They're just, yeah, when you get all the way down here, there's just nobody on. So I, that's why I don't really want to put the timetable more frequent. Because obviously, it's it's not good. We need more coverage. Because if we're going to get down to Ebden Bridge to sling more buses down here. I say Hebden Bridge. We already got Hebden Bridge. I meant Tobmerdon. You know what I meant. In fact, I think we're pretty much... Is that the outskirts of Todmorden there? I think we're, we're nearly there. Mm, Rippenden, we could also potentially get the uh, the 528 going down there. 587, whatever it is now, X78. It's been all sorts over the years. How many buses have we actually got available in the depot? Let's look. So we've got a few. I reckon we could probably... I mean, these have all got things to do later, haven't they? But I reckon we could get a 542 going out of this. Should we go for it and see what happens? This can be the 542 and hopefully yellow. Oh, that's as yellow as it can get. Right, so where do we go down here? So we've got... Uh, is, is this it? Oh, park lane. 
Oh, there we go. So it's back old drive. I think they. I don't think it goes round there, does it? Or maybe it does. There we go. We'll uh, we'll we'll have it going round there because it doesn't take that much longer to do, does it? There we go. We'll go all the way down there. Into town. That I have no idea which way this bus goes. We'll we'll have it coming down here. But I don't want it to go around there. There we go. Stop there. Yeah, lovely. Along the bottom. I don't think that's where it goes. <laughs> No, it's not, is it? We'll send it up there. This can be, you know, this can be where it stops now. And then you can go around to there. Yep. And then straight up. Yep, that's lovely. And then you can go up here, because I know that's where you go. Straight up here. We don't go down Summergate Street, do we? No, we stay on there. Lovely. Now, hang on, because we go... I think we come down... Do we come down to the end there and on West End, Spring Hall? That'll do. Now, there's a turning circle up here somewhere, so that's there. We'll just... We'll keep up here. I have no idea whether we're on the right track here. The people that'll be like, no, five four two goes a completely different way. But this is you know, that's the right turn where you need to use ferry lift, otherwise you'll scrape all the front of your bus. Possibly. There we go. Norton Tower. So we've got to Norton Tower, we'll come back again. Yep. Yep. Straight down. No, oh, I don't like that, but it seems a bit late now, doesn't it, to do anything about it. Kenyon Lane. Yeah, straight back down. I'm not convinced we're going the right way, but it's fine. Summergate Street, Parkinson Lane. And then, yeah, stop about there. Have we got to stop on this side of the road? I think we do. Yeah, lovely. Regent Street, Bull Green. Yep. And then I think they're going to the bus station. And then back out. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll stop there, and then we'll go down here. I'm just not convinced this is the way they go, but it's it's fine. Oh no, I'm gonna take that off. Put that one on because we may as well. Go on, stop there. Yep, lovely. Siddle Grove, Phoebe Lane, Ashgrove Avenue, Oxford Lane, Siddle. There we go. That is, that's the, that's the route. 542. So it's sort of got a little bit more coverage up here, haven't we? Now, how's this going to work? It's a good question. So, 5am till... 2300 yep okay that's quite a peak uh, right rush hour every hour uh, we'll prefer single deckers on this please yep there we go and where's Norton Tower uh, that'll be up here somewhere won't it Norton Tower Terminus you can have uh, five minutes there what else have we got coming back uh, Halifax bus station can have a bit of time there as well. And then where do we have? We'll have, we'll have, we'll have five minutes on Market Street. Hang on, we'll, we'll get rid of that Norton Tower one a little bit. Can't even find it now, for goodness sake. Have three minutes there, because then you can have two minutes down here. That'll work. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly not. Right, we're going to have 
seven thirty till nineteen. That's till eighteen thirty. There you go. That can be that one. Every sixty minutes, and then we'll copy that timetable. So it's every half hour through the day. I think in in real life it's every twenty minutes. But then that was many, many years ago when I last was uh, was in Halifax. It might have all changed now. Right, so you can start at... What time do you start normally? 5am, you can start at 6am on a Saturday till 2300 every half hour. Yep, we've got the timetable copied in. And then on a Sunday, you can start at 7am till 2200 every 60 minutes. That'll do. I can't see what's wrong with that. This is going to be really busy now, isn't it? Hmm, yes. Delayed assignment? That's not very fair. Right, we need more bus drivers. That is a, a, a priority. Okay. Take that. Right, we've got 50 seconds to hire another bus driver. Ooh, very reliable. Right. Yep. Uh, what are you taking? You, you're taking something. You can take the Lion City. Take that one out. Right, another bus driver needed. Uh, whose stupid idea was this? Right, hang on. Have we got another bus? Oh, look at that. Right, we've got all the 542s successfully assigned. What we can do, if it's not every 20 minutes, uh, right, hang on, timetable, bus routes, yep, yeah, 5, 4, 2, edit timetable, because I was planning on it being every 20 minutes, so that means that needs to be 90, so if we go up to Norton Tower, we can actually add those 5 minutes back in, that'll do, yep, yeah, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, it's annoying that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't keep it in, there you go. It'll be changed from tomorrow. We'll add those that timing, uh, those timings back in. It's actually not that far from the depot, is it, to uh, to Norton Tower, Siddle even, where it starts its run. Look at them all flipping out. There's so many, so so many passengers. Don't get me wrong. I'm absolutely thrilled <laughs> that we're doing so well. But crikey, I mean, look at that. That 549 is mental. 167,000. 503, 185,000. These routes are doing so well. I mean, the 503 has been going a lot longer, hasn't it? So that's what buses over the past. I forget how long that's over. Can you can you see? Oh, no, you can't actually see your finances in, in better detail. But, I mean, we are doing so, so well. I don't think we have to worry anymore, do we? Hmm. We won't... Uh, yeah, tell you what, we'll repay that. There we go. We've repaid some more loan. So we actually only have one loan out. That's brilliant. There's so many, so many full buses. The staff often seem bored or distant. Ah, we'll get them whipped into shape. Let's have a look in the travel centre. We've actually not looked there in a while. Good lord. Yeah, that is a, uh, that is a feature and a half, isn't it? Look at all those people. My goodness me. Right, okay. Staff, let's have a look. Service employees. How many have we got? You're good, we'll hire you. You're also reasonably good, so we'll hire you as well. Are they all stressed? Let's have a look. No, no, they're not actually. Could do with another desk. Where can we fit another desk in? Hmm. That is a good question. Right, okay. Uh, hmm. Yes. Right, I wonder if we can we can make that can we make that longer? Uh, warehouse, yep. Can we can we delete that? Yes, right, okay, we can. Let's pop a bit of warehouse in there. Oh, hang on. The warehouse is in. Pop a door. Yep. And then if we if we move that. 
there. Yep. Move you to there. And then we can delete this bit of wire. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, we've, we've really not left ourselves much room to expand. But if we go service center, build that there, then we can have another couple of desks for our two new employees. There we go. Go on, guys. Get on those desks. There's a lot of weekly tickets been sold here. I don't think an additional two desks is going to cut the mustard. You see, look how busy this travel centre is. And our government are wanting to, like, de-staff all these places. Just goes to show, you need more staff. It's ridiculously busy. 20 minute waiting time, that's not okay. I don't really know where to go with it though. It's a shame you can't go upstairs, you know, up and over and down again. Can you have a different service center? Does it have to be there? Okay, yeah, it turns out it has to be attached to the current one. What an inconvenience that is. Mm, they're kicking off because the buses are too busy. Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll relocate this. So these are the bus washing places. Uh, hang on, where are we? Street? Yeah, bus wash. There we go. So the bus washes can relocate. We'll relocate the bus washes down here. And then we'll delete those two. Yeah, yeah. It, it pains me to do it because these were like our original bus washes, weren't they? But sadly, guys, you're going to have to go. I know. We'll leave the warehouse as it is. We don't need these doors, obviously, do we? Get rid of that. Oh, we'll, we'll leave that one because that is obviously uh, doors that we need. Look at this. Uh, this is going to be like the service centre to end all service centres, isn't it? Right, we'll build you down there. Oh, beautiful. Right, hang on. Where, so you're there. Yep. Can I can I move people while they're uh, while they're doing their job? Yes, I can. Yep. Right, can we... Yep, yeah, we can have you there. Good. Oh, I can hear someone kicking off. I'm surprised they're not kicking off because of the wait time in here. And then what we can do on the corner heater service center is we can like put a, a a potted plant. Okay. A big plant. There we go. Lovely. Service center. I need another desk. Yep, more service desks. There we go. Service employees, let's get more. Yep. You see, the reliability's low. Friendly's high, but reliability's low. And that is... I think I'd rather just wait for, you know, for the right people to come along. Could do with more chairs. Although, ideally, we don't want wait times to be as high, do we? Sling you there. Just to make a bit more room. Oh no, I'm going to move that up. Yep. Leave a bit more of a gap. I thought so around the entrance at least it's not, you know, it's not too crowded, is it? There we go. We'll move you two over here.
There we go. And then you walk in and there's just plenty of space for everybody. In fact, I think we'll do the same with you. So hopefully, even though we've not got any more chairs in this room, hopefully the wait times won't be as big. We can hope anyway, can't we? Uh, right, hire some more. Do you see the reliability is just garbage on them all? It would be better if the reliability got better over time, wouldn't it? Yeah, do you know what? We'll hire them all. Right, there we go. That is where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed that. If you have, please do show your appreciation. Click that like button. And, uh, yeah, if you are enjoying the series, completely forgot what I was going to say. If you're enjoying the series so far, you want to keep up with future episodes, please do click that subscribe button so you never miss out. And other than that, as I say... Thank you so, so much for watching. If you do have any fantastic ideas, please do comment them in the uh, the comments section. That's where they're for. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.